It's time to go to the Cinco de Mayo celebration, Aunt Maria said happily. Bring your sweater because the weather is chilly today. It was Sue's first time to enjoy Cinco de Mayo in Mexico, the country where the holiday started. Sue had visited her aunt before, but never on the fifth day of May, the day of the holiday. Sue knew that it was honored the courage of the Mexican people during a battle against the French army long ago. Aunt Maria and Sue passed beautiful old buildings as they walked towards the town square. When they arrived, Sue could hear the laughter of children playing and a choir singing. The smell of spicy foods filled the air outside. Girls danced in costumes and wore brightly colored bows in their hair, while the boys wore red scarves around their necks. Red, white, and green flags waved in the breeze. Sue and her aunt stayed at the festival for free, fun-filled hours. They sampled delicious snacks, listened to music, and watched a ceremony to honor the day. But the best part of the festival happened at home when Sue and her aunt had a special conversation. I hope you can come visit again next May, her aunt said. I do too, Sue replied with excitement.